Welcome to Slide Up Lift. Today we're going to learn how to use page curl transition to create this awesome book effect. To save time, you can even download this template using the link in the description. Or if you'd like to do it yourself, keep watching. Let's start by opening a blank slide in PowerPoint. First, let's add a background. Right click anywhere on the slide and choose Format Background. On the right, you'll see the Format Background pane pop up. Select Picture or Texture Fill, then click Insert. A new window will appear. Click from a file, find the image you want, and hit Open. And just like that, your image will fill the entire slide background. Once that's done, go ahead and close the Format Background pane. Now, let's make things a little easier by adding some guides. Go to the View tab and check the Guides box. This will help us align everything perfectly. Next, go back to the Home tab, select the Rectangle tool from the Shapes menu, and draw a rectangle on the right half of the slide. Use the Center Guide to align it. Let's clean it up a bit by removing the outline. To do this, select the rectangle, go to Shape Outline, and click No Outline. If needed, you can adjust the size slightly from the left side to make it just right. With the rectangle selected, right-click and choose Format Shape. In the Format Shape pane, under Picture or Texture Fill, click Insert again. When the window opens, select from a file, choose a leather texture for the cover of the book and click Insert. That image will now appear within the rectangle. Now let's give it some contrast. With the rectangle still selected, go to Picture Format Color and choose a darker tone to make it fit in with the background. Great! Time to duplicate this rectangle. Hold Shift Control, click and drag the rectangle to the left to create a duplicate. Select the new rectangle, go to Arrange Rotate and choose Flip Horizontal. This creates two symmetrical sides for our book. You can close the Format Picture pane, now no need for that anymore. Let's create the spiral binding. Go to the Shapes menu, select a circle, and draw a small one on the right side of the book. To make another circle, hold Shift Control, click and drag the circle to the left. Let's remove the outline from both circles by selecting them and going to Shape Outline, No Outline. Go to Shape Fill and select a nice dark gray. Next, draw a rounded rectangle from the Shapes menu and place it between the two circles. Use the yellow dot to adjust the corners, making it rounder and remove the outline. Right click on the rounded rectangle and choose Format Shape. In the Format Shape pane, select Gradient Fill and set the gradient direction. Remove one of the gradient stops and adjust the remaining ones to make the rectangle look more realistic. Use shades of gray for a metallic effect. Once it looks good, make the rectangle smaller and center it between the circles. Now, select both circles and the rounded rectangle, right click and choose Group or press Ctrl G to combine them. Let's duplicate this spiral section. Select the group, drag it down, and press F4 repeatedly to create more duplicates. Once you have enough, select all the spirals, go to Arrange Align, and align them properly. Then group them again by pressing Ctrl-G. Now, let's create the pages. Draw a rectangle from the Shapes menu and place it on the slide. remove its outline, and then fill it with a light color white works well. Draw a rounded rectangle and place it over one corner of the white rectangle. Remove its outline. Select both shapes, go to Shape Format Merge Shapes, and choose Subtract. This cuts out the corner of the rectangle, giving it a rounded look. 
Then add in another rectangle over the space we just created. Then select the white page, right click and pick bring to front. With the page shape ready, let's add a shadow for depth. Right click the shape, select format shape and go to the effects section. Under shadow, select a drop shadow, set the blur to 16 points and the distance to 15 points. For the text, grab a text placeholder and type page one. Rotate and align the text in the corner of the colored rectangle. Change the text color to white and group it with the rectangle by pressing Ctrl G. Duplicate the page by holding Shift Ctrl, clicking and dragging it to the left. Select the duplicate page, go to Arrange Flip Horizontal and adjust the page one text alignment. Select the book's joint in the middle, right click and choose bring to front. Now make a copy of this slide using Ctrl D. Remove the left page from the first slide. Duplicate this slide as well. This time remove the cover on the left side to reveal the desk background. Select the binding and ungroup all shapes twice so you're left with individual elements only. Select the holes on the left and delete them. Delete the white page on the right side as well. Then make the rounded rectangles narrower like this. Change the leather cover to a white shade. Here you can add in text boxes and other elements to build your title slide. Duplicate the title slide and position the book like so. Let's insert a pen image and make it smaller to fit nicely with the book. Rotate the pen slightly and place it on top of the book for a more realistic effect. To add some depth, go to Format Picture, head to the Effects section, and apply a drop shadow. Now, copy the pen image by pressing Ctrl C, then navigate to the next slide and paste it using Ctrl V. Select the first two slides in the slide bar and click on the Transitions tab. Render Transitions, choose the Morph Transition for a smooth animation between the two slides. For the remaining slides, let's give them a different touch by applying a Page Curl Transition. Make sure the first two slides keep the morph transition for a sleek opening effect. Test your work. Click Slideshow from the toolbar to preview how the animations and transitions look so far. Now let's duplicate the first two slides by selecting them and pressing Ctrl D. Reorder the slides to match this arrangement. On this slide, change the title to an end slide message. Make the text larger, change its color to something bold and striking, and center align it for emphasis. Let's take it a step further, cut the text content from the cover by pressing Ctrl X and flip the book horizontally. Drag the flipped book towards the left side of the slide of the slide while holding Shift to keep it aligned. Adjust the pen image again, rotate it, shrink it slightly, and move it to the right for balance. Paste the content you cut earlier, Ctrl V and align it properly on the cover. Once you're happy with the layout, make the pen image smaller, right click on it and select bring to front to ensure it stays on top. Select all the content text, images, and the cover and press Ctrl G to group them together. Copy this grouped content with Ctrl C. Move to the next slide, delete the old book design, and paste the new group with Ctrl V. 
rotate the entire book and position it creatively on the slide. Go back to the previous slide, copy the pen image, and paste it onto this new slide. Rotate the pen again and place it neatly over the book for continuity. Apply the page curl transition to the fifth slide for a seamless flip effect. Now add in the content you'd like on each page. Fill in your book with headers, text, bullet points, and visuals as needed. And there you have it. Your animated book presentation is complete. Check out the link in the description to download the template now. You can also get 10% off with the code in the description. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to Slide Up Lift. Hit that bell icon to get notified for our next video. You can check out our channel for more PowerPoint tutorials.